What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys top 10 awesome troll store apps for iOS 17.0. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what troll store is. But just in case you don't, Troll Store is the easiest, most convenient way to sideload apps. Apps sideloaded with Troll Store will never expire. But that's not the only thing you can do. And in today's video, I'll show you the awesome stuff you can do with it. Before we get into today's video, however, you'll need to install Troll Store if you haven't done so already. Installation methods tend to differ depending on what iOS version you're on. For iOS 14.0 through 16.6.1, you can use Troll Installer X, which is just an app you sideload, you tap a button, and then you have Troll Store. It's super easy. For 17.0, it's a little bit more complicated. It's not too bad, but I would use Troll Restore, follow the instructions, and then you'll have Troll Store. I've made tutorial videos on both of these, so just in case you happen to get stuck, feel free to check both videos out in the cards or down below in the description. All apps discussed in today's video are in the description below. This is a really cool app that lets you turn live photos into something more like video wallpapers. So once you have the app, create a new live photo wallpaper. From there, go to the app and tap change wallpaper. You should see the new live photo wallpaper you created. For me, it's a little bit different because I already had it set up, but once you tap through and you can go ahead and choose what you want and it will create it. Also, if you want it to loop, just make sure that you have that toggle enabled in the app. We haven't had a jailbreak for new iOS versions in a really long time. So it is incredible what developers have been creating. And if what I'm showing you right now blows your mind, this is all without a jailbreak, by the way, then go check out my previous video on getting incredible live dynamic wallpapers. If you thought Blossom was cool, this is crazy because it works on the latest iOS version and the latest phone without any jailbreak. Did I mention that it works on the latest phone? Yeah, this is insane. Anyway, from time to time, you may experience crashes on your device. And this is really cool because previously you could only view crash logs on device if you were jailbroken. If you're a developer, or know someone who is, this can help you diagnose whatever's wrong. So for reasons that you guys will understand in a second, I wasn't sure if I was gonna cover this one, but it is cool, so I figured we'd take a look. Bootstrap on iOS 17.0 lets you use tweaks inside of applications, but on iOS 17.0, you can only tweak apps. 99% of normal tweaks will not work. If you have a device on 16 through 16.6.1, you can use Bootstrap in conjunction with Serotonin to give you more of a jailbreak feel, and it'll give you springboard injection just like a regular jailbreak would. However, those versions support dopamine, which is an actual jailbreak, so I would say just use dopamine. Once you run the Bootstrap app all the way through, it'll give you Cilio or Zebra. But even as I said before, even opening up Cilio, 99% of what you see on the front page is just not gonna work with Bootstrap on 17.0. Also for this to work, make sure in the Bootstrap app to go under the app list settings for whatever app you want to tweak and make sure that it's enabled. So at the end of the day, like I said, this is cool to mess around with, but it doesn't really provide all that much functionality. You can get some basic stuff running. You can see I have Cask running in the settings app, but that's about it. Even something as basic as Cylinder is not gonna work here. But nevertheless, like I said, this is pretty cool, so I figured we would talk about it. At this point, this has become a classic troll store app, but I had to include Dynamic Cow. This app gives you the ability to have the Dynamic Island on your old unsupported device. This is really cool, however, it's not one-to-one -one perfect because, well, the Dynamic Island was not supposed to run on these old devices. Still though, I think it's pretty cool. I've covered getting Dynamic Island on your older devices pretty extensively at this point, but it never gets old. It's something that is really awesome. If this app interests you and you want to see what else you can do, go ahead and check out my dedicated video on Dynamic Cow. This app was also incredible. Copylog Troll Store Edition was one of the first of its kind offering a jailbreak-like experience without a jailbreak. Developers have been pushing the boundaries of what is possible without a jailbreak, and it's just incredible. If you're on a Troll Store compatible version, this is definitely worth taking a look at. If this app also piqued your interest, go ahead and check out my dedicated video where I talk all about it. With this app, you can get a version of the Apple Intelligence writing tools using ChatGPT. You will need another app to inject right now inside of your applications. Here's how to do it. 
go into the right now app and then type in your endpoint key which you can find in your chat gpt account from there you'll also need to download troll fools so you can inject the file that right now light creates into whatever app you want tap on share inside of the right now light app and then from there you can pick whatever app you want to inject then go ahead and open up the app that you injected and from there you should just be able to use the right now tool now this is not apple's model and it's not one-to-one -one the exact same thing but you can use chat gpt and other models to be able to sort of replicate this feature with this app you can change the device's animation speed the default is set to 1.0 so if we make it something like 5.0 and hit apply once we respring and come back up you'll see a giant difference here things slow to a crawl and i seriously would not recommend having the animation speeds be this slow so if we make it 0.5 you can see when it respring's things are significantly faster and same thing with 0.1 now you can see it's lightning fast this app is another really cool one to make this work, go inside the app and just tap on the start button and from there you'll see it will start to work. Swiping from the right side of your device, you can see it brings up an application shortcut window and this is wild to see on a device that isn't jailbroken. This also gives you quick toggles to respring and reboot and you can toggle on and off things like the snowfall that you see and the fake dynamic island. You also have fine-tuned control over the LEDs on the flashlight here. And the inclusion of a fake dynamic island is interesting because while it sort of works, it also really does not. Dynamic island things like setting a timer just does not show up in this fake island here. That's why I would definitely recommend if you're going to try to add the dynamic island on an unsupported device, just use dynamic cow. But this is really cool and nobody would believe me five, 10 years ago if I said that this was a phone that wasn't jailbroken. There's also actually a multitasking feature here and for the longest time I could not get this to work. This works with some apps and does not work at all for others, but when it does work, it is actually pretty cool that you can do all of this with one app. However, there's definitely some serious bugs here. This only properly works for whatever reason inside of apps, and it doesn't let you move them or properly resize them when you're at the home screen. But if you're inside of an app, it kind of sort of seems to work. Like I said, this is really buggy right now. But there are so many cool features with this app, and nevertheless, it's definitely worth taking a look at. This app is supposed to overlay a GIF to your battery, and while I kind of sort of got it working with a static image, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be working with a GIF that I put in. Still though, in concept, this is actually a really cool idea for a troll store app. This app has been around for a couple of years, but it never gets old. This app lets you play any GameCube or Wii game on your device. When this app first came out years ago, you needed to be jailbroken. However, since then, there have been alt store versions that have come out. However, the performance has been much better on jailbroken devices. The performance on this troll store version is much better, and it's also much more convenient to get the troll store version. Things have changed a little bit since then, but if you want to see my original video where I go in detail about Dolphin iOS, I'll link the video down below in the description and in the cards. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's top 10 iOS 17.0 troll store apps. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.